Hey, what's up? My name is PJ and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make just about any preset work with just about any photo. Hope you enjoy. All right, so I just got done making a video about how to edit portraits and I made a cool preset during it. Um, I'll link that in the description to this video. It's also in the last one. Um, check that out if you haven't, if you want to see exactly how I made it and the process that went into it. So I'm going to reset this from scratch and I'm going to sync those settings across all the photos. So everything has started from scratch. So this preset that I've got um, was page YouTube O. I'm going to click that on. There are a few things that you need to change on a photo by photo basis. Um, basically, every different lighting scenario, every look that you have is going to need different settings. And so there's never going to be a one size fits all approach. Too much of a range of tones. Um, there's too many different lighting situations and scenarios and one preset will never work for every single photo. But to make, I'm going to say like 80% of your presets work for like 80% of your photos, um, there's a few things you need to change. First of all, you need to change white balance, um, exposure, and contrast are really big ones. Um, another one that I'll add in as a little maybe, depending on your style, is grain, because grain doesn't work for every photo, but if you can recognize the photos that it does, I think it adds a lot. So I just put on this preset. This is the free one. You can download it below. Like I mentioned, page 56 YouTube O it's called. Um, check out the video if you haven't already showing exactly how I made this preset. I whacked it on. It looks not too bad, but it's very orange. It's very um, brown. So let's change the white balance, drag it down. And already that's looking very, very good. You know, I might need a little bit more tweaking. But I mean, for a three second edit, I think that's pretty sweet. So let's try one of these other ones. Uh, I've got this photo of Mark here, taken in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm just gonna change the crop. All right, so let's pop on that preset, page 56 YouTube O. Again, a little warm. Change the white balance, change the exposure. Bam, it's ready to go. So just to prove a point, I'm gonna reset this one. I'm gonna just pick another one of these presets. Let's just like randomly click on any one of these YouTube presets that I've made. Bit too warm. Sorry, a bit too cold. There you go. White balance, exposure, if need be contrast. That's, that's gonna set you up really, really well. Let's pick another one of these photos. So in the last video, I edited, edited these nice pictures of Hannah. This is from scratch. This is the raw file. Beautifully shot, nice and sharp. Let's pick another one of these photos. Let's uh, preset, sorry. Let's pick YouTube F. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna take out some of the contrast. Bump up the exposure. And I'm gonna warm it up a little bit. Like I mentioned, three things, that's gonna set you up really, really well for most photos. It's not gonna work for every single one. Um, some of these presets that I've made are just completely whack, but if you have a good preset, if you have a good set of presets, um, yeah, you can apply to most of your photos. Let's have a look, YouTube A, let's try that one. Pretty good out of the box, let's reset it. And let's go, let's have a look at this picture of Harley. So I'm gonna pick a random preset. Let's pick P YouTube L. Pretty good, I'm gonna cool it down. And I'm gonna drop the exposure. Pretty good. So like I said, three things you need to adjust, white balance, exposure, and contrast. Now the other thing that I said was grain. Grain doesn't work for every photo. Natural light, I find it works really well. Let's have a look at one of these photos of Will. So this is the raw file, completely out of camera. Um, it might have, oh, it's pretty clean. It's shot at ISO 1000 on a 5G Mark III, so it's pretty clean, but let's just see. This one might not work with grain. Let's do YouTube D. 
Let's try that one. Like I said, white balance, exposure, contrast. Let's cool that down a bit. Excellent. The grain actually works. Um, that's a bad example, but I find in artificially lit photos, sometimes the grain can just be overwhelming. It just gets messy. If you've got a noisy photo, it's too much. But in this one, it actually works pretty well. I hope that helps you get the most out of your presets. Like I said, this one, page 50, 56, YouTube O is available for free in the comments. You can download it from Dropbox. Um, please be aware it is a .lrt file. If you try and view a preview, it'll come up as a bunch of code. Don't preview it, just download it and you can install it very, very easily. Just look it up on YouTube. In fact, I might make a video right now on how to install Lightroom presets. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you learned something, give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. and I'll see you in the next video.